Well, the title is Women at the Top of Analytical Science, and it's subheaded What Can Be Done to Improve on a Disappointing Show in the Power List. As we compiled the Analytical Scientist Power List for 2013, uh, which was published in last month's issue, one of the things that really stood out was the lack of women. There were eight females in the top 100 and none in the top 20. I found that to be a little bit disappointing and I decided to explore it. Industry numbers are woeful. For instance, in the Fortune 500 list for 2013, women hold just 4.2% of CEO positions. And it's the same story in the European Union. Company presidents at 96 of the leading 100 businesses in Europe are male. If you take a quick glance at the executive management teams in the leading companies in analytical sciences, things are pretty desperate for women there too. Representations in the single digits. The position in academia is quite a bit brighter. 38% um, of faculty at US higher education institutions are female. However, there's a pyramid problem there. 30%, um, no, 50% of the faculty at community colleges are women, and this drops down to 43% um, uh, at colleges which educate to master's degree level, and further down to 33% at doctoral level universities. And within this final category, the more prestigious universities hire even fewer women than that. Uh, the figure across the board for chemistry departments stands at about 17% uh, women faculty. That was a study in 2010. In Europe, the position is qualitatively similar. For instance, in Spain, 39% um, of associate professors are women, and that drops to 18% for full professors. Uh, we have an editorial advisory board of 15 people, three of whom are women, so that's 20%. And in the first 10 issues that we published of The Analytical Scientist, there were 32 women out of 140 authors, which is 23%. Um, that's nothing to brag about. Uh, we'll take measures uh, to have more female contributors in the future. Well, it happens that um, one of the eight women who are actually on the power list, Susan Lunty, was this month's guest in Sitting Down With. And when I interviewed Sue, she mentioned that at her graduate school, only 10% of the intake were women. And that's not so very long ago. I want to get that in because she and I are of about the same vintage. Uh, but today, 50% of uh, people in graduate, graduate school are women. And I expect that as this gradually increasing proportion of women works its way through the ranks, the numbers at the top will increase too. So there should be more women in the power list as time goes by. That's going to take a reboot of the system, which was set up for men by men. In the editorial, I adapted a list from a UK business report that provides uh, maybe a starting framework for increasing the number of women at the top in analytical science. And we'll be certainly keeping an eye on that and on how we perform at the analytical scientist. And we look forward to increasing numbers of women in our power list.